Well, it's that time of the year again. We are getting ready to harvest the apples. And it's going to be a brilliant year by the look of it. So this is our favourite tree. These are discoveries. And they are just amazing red apples. And ready for picking. So the great thing about these apples is when you cut them in half, they have some wonderful pink flesh. So the only trouble with discoveries is that they just don't keep. As soon as you pick them, they go soft pretty quickly. So uh, on the grounds we can't eat that many, we use another method to uh, use as much as we can, and that's making uh, fresh apple juice. So here's a little shot of what we're doing. Into here, we get rid of the grasshopper. Into the water, cut them in half, into the kibble, which is a hands free job because um, that's what it does to chop the apples up into a tub below, and then into the press through a filter into the traditional jug, and then we'll fill them into washed out and sterilised milk cartons. So that's the process, just got to do it now. First two litres, I'll be in pink. So uh, once the uh, press is completed, we need to remove 
the pressings, which is known as pomace. I think you can see it. And depending on how well we've pressed it, it should be fairly dry. Uh, commercially, it's used to uh, go to biofuel and aerobic digesters, or you can go to animal feed, we put it in the compost heap. So that's it, kind of dry, sort of texture of sort of cardboard, damp cardboard I suppose, uh, and that will go down and rot down in the compost heap, so uh, we're wasting nothing. So that's it, three presses done, probably used about 150 apples, and we've produced about 8 litres of juice. Um, time to taste it, it's a lovely colour, you can see that. Uh, it will darken go brown as it oxidizes a little because there's no preservatives in there, but it smells like apples. Tastes like apples. Really sweet, absolutely natural. It'll last about uh, eight days in the fridge uh, before it starts fermenting and trying to turn itself into cider. Uh, but we put it in the freezer and we can keep it there for as much space as we've got in the freezer. It depends really how much we can keep, but. Uh, it keeps us going for a good few months, enjoying the fruits of our wonderful trees. Mm -hmm.